The first thing that needs to happen for a part to be chemically etched is for there to be artwork generated. Drawings are taken from computer data and photo plotted onto film, creating areas on the film that are either black or clear. Depending on the type of photoresist being used, either the clear areas or the black areas will be the image of the desired part. Generally, there are two pieces of film created that are aligned precisely front to back. Metal is then selected, then sheets are cut to match the size of the film created. The metal is then cleaned to remove any residual oils and oxides. It is very important to have clean surfaces on the metal to make sure the resist that will be applied will adhere successfully. The sheets are then coated with the photosensitive resist. The resist is sensitive to UV light and resistant to acid. After the resist is applied, the material is then placed between the two pieces of artwork that have been created. The resist-covered sheet is then exposed to UV light to create the desired image on the coated metal. Generally, where the light shines through the clear areas of the film, the resist is exposed and becomes hardened. Where the resist is shielded from the light by the black areas of the film, the resist remains soft. After exposure to the UV light, the sheets are put through a developer where the soft resist is dissolved away and the hardened resist remains. The sheet of material will then have resist remaining in the areas where the material needs to remain, while the rest of the sheet has exposed metal where the material is to be removed. The next step is to have the sheet put through an etching machine, where etchant is sprayed on both sides of the sheet. Where the etchant comes in contact with exposed material, the metal is dissolved. Where the resist has been applied, the material will be protected from the etchant. When the sheet is finished etching, the remaining resist must be removed. This is done by applying resist stripper, which dissolves the resist. The result is the finished etched part.